What up, what up? This is Kakaroto, aka Coco. And welcome back to another review of upcoming pop culture items that are coming out this year. Um, I know your eyes are not deceiving you. This is actually He-Man. And it's not the meme, it's the actual He-Man figurine. Um, before we continue, this information is from IGN. This does not belong to me. It is just an article my boy sent over to me and said, look over these items which are coming out this year in San Diego's Comic-Con 2018. And I said, hey, you know, why not? Let me go ahead and share this with everybody else, as I am sure a lot of collectors out there would like to know about this. So without further ado, uh, these are the best Comic-Con 2018 exclusive collectibles. And, you know, already they are warning us, better bring your motherfucking credit card. So if you are below 18 you better go ahead and get them chores in get them errands in and you know make sure you ask daddy and mommy to make sure to give you that little extra cash that you need if you're going to uh order some of these items online now before i go ahead most of these items may or may not already be out there but uh the ones served at the con will have that exclusive sticker slapped on these items so anyways um this is pretty much going to be a list of the most sought items that collectors will want out there. And also, you know, I will let you know uh, which ones I am personally going to get. I am going to let you know the price if it is available. Um, the supplier uh, described the item itself, my opinions on it. And yeah, well, let's get right into it. So if you don't know what Comic-Con is, you probably were living under a rock. But Comic-Con is pretty much, you know, um, it's known, San Diego being the main one. Um, if you're like me who lives in New York, you attend New York Comic-Con. If you live in Seattle, Washington, you attend the Emerald Con. Uh, but there are a few others, but they are not as popular as those three right there. So um, I do have some friends who live in San Diego. I am going to be asking them to get me two or three items that I want because I don't want to overburden them with what they have to bring back when they return from their trip. So um, I unfortunately was not able to attend because I am busy with work. My responsibilities are here and um, I wish I would have been able to get out of them. But like I was saying, if you are a responsible adult like me, as far as you know, having a full-time job, a good head over your shoulders, uh, you are going to want to make sure your credit cards are cleared and you have a nice little penny saved up if you want some of these items that you may be able to order online or have some friends that are traveling to the con that should be able to get these for you. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So as many know, um, Comic Con is pretty much a place where they are going to have a lot of pop culture announcements as far as games, trailers, movies, and a lot of goodies that are coming out this year. So we will not be able to see them. Some people will leak this information as they go along. But uh, these are some of the items that are going to be coming out. And they have a very few interesting ones. I'm just going to go scroll through the ones that they have shown here. But they do break them down in detail, in detail further down. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at the first one. So the first item is a Funko Pop director's Taika Waititi figure. Um, Taika Waititi is pretty much the director for Thor Ragnarok. And as we see right here, this pop looks pretty, pretty nice. You know, nothing out of the ordinary other than the director itself with his nice little pink and pineapple outfit with his white shoes. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> my battery is low. Uh, let's go ahead and charge that up because I don't want to lose my battery. Um, but anyways um pretty much the the director looks pretty pretty slick on here um nothing out of the ordinary the price and where to buy is not available funko has not announced anything yet but we are assuming it is going to come out in the funko booth and it will be going for 15 if not 20 dollars it may vary it depends so uh for the flippers out there who are waiting to get their hands on this uh, this will be probably going out in the market from the flippers, aka the black market, for maybe $50, if not more. So if you want to acquire this one, keep an eye out. Um, they might be able to sell these um, with shared uh, retailers like, uh, you know, Hot Topic, Amazon, um, 
that's not Amazon. It might be Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, and a few others that are, are partners uh, with uh, as far as selling these pops and whatnot. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But um, nothing out of the or out of the ordinary for this pop itself. It looks nice. A little bit too fruity for my taste, but uh, you know, fuck it, eh? Um, I'm not definitely getting this one. But if you're into Thor Ragnarok and the director collector's pops. Go right ahead. This might be one of these things you may want to get your hands on. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Uh, this is Dark Supergirl Bishojo uh, statue. Um, it's pretty much a repaint. The retailer for this one is Kotobukiya, and um, it's it's a nice little little statue. You know, it's nothing out of the ordinary other than it's a repaint, but it is beautiful. Nevertheless, um, we see the small changes in detail as far as the outfit itself. It has gone from, uh, you know, the regular Supergirl outfit colors to now all black and silver. Um, you know, it reminds me a lot of the, the evil guys from Krypton, the Zod people, like I call them. Uh, but I do like the, the small little touches as far as the purple eyeshadow on her her pose you know the it's just something very nice and beautiful um I, I would like to get it but you know what it's it's not something on my on my list top list at least but um the detail is pretty good it's not that crazy um and it's going to be going for 84 dollars and 99 cents uh you know after taxes more than likely 87 and like i said it is going to be sold by kotobukiya booth number 2601 um, so if you're interested and you have friends that are going to be going to the con, this is something that you may want to snag. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Uh, now this is from ABC, uh, booth number 4245, Lost Dharma Enamel Pin 2 Pack. It's uh, $12. I don't know if it's each or the set itself, it's $12. But it has a, you know, a swan and an arrow, it says Dharma. The design is not that... Um, nothing out of the ordinary black and white nothing crazy i wouldn't get them personally myself but it's from a show i guess called lost armas initiative it might be something to do with some superheroes or whatnot but um abc is pretty much selling their first um exclusive collectibles at the show this year round so um i may have to look more into what this show entails but for now these two uh pack um lost armor enamel pins are not my cup of tea let's go ahead and move on to the next item now this is the one i um am pretty much reaching out to my friends to get um get one for me and they already said they are planning to get one for themselves as well and they will try very hard to get me one it's almost guaranteed because they have a cousin who works at the console I have a very high chance of getting one of these but this is masters of the universe laughing prince adam figure um he is very well known from a meme that came out uh, a few years ago i believe but it was a very popular meme of him laughing with the rainbow background as we saw at the beginning of the article and um it was used for many perverted reasons um if you were familiar with the meme but i will just leave it at that but this little uh figurine is gonna go out for 35 dollars now is going to be sold by Super 7 booth 49.45. Now Super 7 pretty much bought the rights for the license from Mattel and um, yeah they're able to actually get the figure um, we can see right here in detail they were able to get the license from them. Um, now the sword itself looks beautiful uh, the details on it are not like you know nothing out of the ordinary but if you're a collector of this and you're a fan favorite of he-man and masters of the universe this looks very old school the joints are amazing like it's just something nice his pink vest his purple tights his white undershirt it's just something i definitely want and his sword you know his brand mark right there um it's something i definitely would like to get so for 35 bucks um you know you can't go wrong it's something that looks nice um so we can look forward to getting that uh the next item now that we're going to move on to is the funko pop ride mat max fury road the nukes car set now again this is probably going to be sold by funko um where the buyer doesn't say where as far as at the con so um they will probably announce um from who which booth is going to be coming out by it will be funko but like i said it could be um not scattered around the, the con but certain locations will have it now the box itself looks amazing um 
the detail on it is great uh you know black with silver um you know silver painting on it and whatnot the silhouette looks great it will have the comic con sticker slapped on it it is limited to a certain amount of pieces i think it's five and fifty thousand if i'm not mistaken or five thousand um but the detail on the pop itself it's a nice uh ride with a nice movie moment uh the movie's not as old i'm not sure why they're coming out with this now um but the the detail on it is great not sure if the wheels move but the both pops look great um it is not as rusticated as it was in the movie but nevertheless it's a nice ride and it's something that if you want to get it it will go for a nice price if it is flipped um price i'm guessing it will go for 20 25 more than likely 25 um that's how much they usually cost so um in the black market these will probably end up going for 50 or 80 dollars if not more as the packaging is pretty much exclusive and, and it just looks slick something i would love to get but it's not on top of like the top of my list so um you may want to look into this if you are a huge funko pop collector especially of right anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item now we have uh this right here is a disappointment to me because i looked at this it's the greg capullo batman geekly and um i thought this was an actual statue or a figurine but after uh, looking at it further in detail and you know the the white background fooled me and then i saw like a, a signature at the bottom I'm thinking wait a minute like this this is not a statue but before we go ahead into detail as to the price and who it's sold by um just gotta say batman here looks amazing as he always does i am a huge huge batman fan um as far as dc goes i've always been a fan of him um he never lets his humanity get in the way and i love the different variants they have of batman so it's something that i was like wow the fucking demon bat below his feet his, his outfit just looks different reminds me of spawn in a way and it's just it just looks so dark and tenebrous and it's just like you know amazing um thinking it was a figurine it would have been something amazing that i would have like gotten right off the bat and it was like like i was saying to myself this is going to be on top of the list a must get but then i saw the little droplets on it and i'm like wait a minute and then i saw the signature i'm like wait a minute maybe my eyes are deceiving me so um the retailers are essential sequential boots number 4507 4606 and 4505 the price is 100 after reading into further detail this shit is a 16 by 20 art print a fucking art print i was like you gotta be fucking kidding me greg capullo must be great but i have heard his name around before and i was thinking maybe it was a statue but it's an art print um i i, I get it support artists but for a hundred dollars i could use that <clears throat> sorry i could use that for something else for another figurine or something worth that money that price because if it's an art print it's not the original so it's a replica of something else so I was like, you know what? I'm going to pass on this one. Um, if it's something you would like to collect to put up on your wall in your house, you can definitely get this. It would definitely go really great with your wall decor, but not for me. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Now, this right here, it is the Bandai Shokugan Super Mini Plow Voltron. Now, a lot of millennials may not know about this and it's not their fault. Um, but a lot of them, I have noticed they have done some research. They love stuff from the 80s, 90s and 2000s because... Who doesn't? A lot of the stuff nowadays is not that original, but this right here, Voltron's uh, number one through five, they're pretty much all already connected and assembled. And they're pretty much doing their signature move with the sword and whatnot. So they have both weapons on the left and the right, and it just looks amazing. You know, it just looks amazing. Um, the detail on this is really great. The color looks on point it's on fleek and the sword itself um it could have been a little bit more i don't want to say more epic but i think it does it justice that is this simple as far as you know the sparks um his finisher move as you know he's almost done pulling the the, the sword out to make his finisher and um each one pretty much looks great it doesn't look like the painting was overdone it's on point so it may be something that you may want to get if you are a huge huge voltron fan so this is this is part of my list um i definitely put voltron up there and it's going to come out for 70 dollars the retailers are bluefin booth number 1037 it is a seven inch figure it will have the sticker on it um and if you want to it says it is going to have the option to separate it into the individual five lines so that is going to be 
fucking amazing in order to have it uh, assembled or disassembled so it's something i definitely recommend it is going to be added to my top list of items to get and i will be asking my friends to see if they can purchase one of these for me and i will pay them back for that once they go and travel to the con so definitely something to look into if you are an old school head like me and love boltron but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item crisis on earth x or 10 statues now um these right here are pretty much the retailer is icon heroes booth 3345 the price is going to be for 80 dollars with tax 83 more than likely it is a one to nine stay uh, scale statue and it's pretty much um you know some of the most popular heroes and villains of the arrowverse and it is from the crisis on earth x crossover the dark arrow and the dark flash um so it's not going to show all the other um heroes they have this is probably just one of them but um it, it looks amazing i like the outfit the detail on it is great the outlining um if it's actual real cloth that is being used on the statue that would be great the the bow it looks amazing the detail on the face looks great i mean it's it's a nice little item it has the two ss <laughs> from that alternate universe and it's it looks something like the stand is, is amazing as well not something on top of my list but i would recommend getting this if you are going to the con and live in san diego and if you do have the money for it it would be a nice addition to your um you know hero and villains collection if you want to add to it so yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next item um right here we have alien covenant's uh david's drawing slip case set this right here as i mentioned uh is something that i do definitely want to get i was trying to do a review of the predator trailer and um it actually ended up getting banned or restricted because it was just i don't know it got blocked i didn't get copyright striked or anything like that but i was like i was only reviewing the fucking video because i'm a big fan of the franchise for predators and aliens but anyways this is pretty much from the aliens universe and i don't know a lot of people had bad reviews about prometheus alien covenant but this is something i definitely want to get because most of these drawings uh from david from the movie are some things that are explained in detail what experiments he was doing how the the xenomorph came to be and other things that involved him doing while he was uh, deserted in the you know the other planet but this little beauty right here is going to come out to fifty dollars and titan entertainment booth number 5537 will be selling these um this is something that i definitely recommend for all those geeks out there as me being one myself will definitely want to get their hands on this um so it looks like lithographs and prints but the detail on it is amazing and again um the xenomorph on here looks amazing and uh i forgot the name of the artist uh who does these who was original something guy because i forgot the name damn it i couldn't remember but um he's a famous artist for these type of paintings and whatnot and most of his work must have been inspired if not him himself doing this these artwork so it's something to look into if you are an alien uh, a geek and you want to get your hands on this definitely look into it for 50 dollars. it looks pretty hefty it looks like it has a lot of stuff on it why not you know so it does it says this version will come with two exclusive art prints titan will even be featuring artist signings for those who want to get their booked and prints autographed so i'm gonna see if i can try my friends to at least get me one if they can get it signed even better but it is sometimes they charge you a lot for those signatures so if if, if it costs too much i'll probably just end up getting the you know the set itself and no signature so you know i do want to be able to save some money to be able to get all the other goodies that i want from my list but i do recommend getting this one so let's go ahead and move along to the next item this is marvel galleries x23 as wolverine unmasked statue now uh wolverine has the you know the epic you know colors right here the blue and yellow and his original um you know uniform and here we see x23 who is pretty much i guess you know like a clone um i have not read too much in the comics as far as her backstory but um if you do know who x23 is you might anybody who knows x23 knows uh she's the little girl that we saw in x-men evolution and we saw in logan old man logan 
here she is all grown up already and she is pretty much bestowing uh you know a wolverine suit here the the yellow and blue epicness right here and it actually looks a little bit chrome like so um she looks amazing i like the the detail on it um you know her facial expression looks on point her hair jet black um her two claws she has her fist clothes you know the typical um wolverine outfit also looks on point it's not the same one itself but she is wearing a lot of the stuff that's similar to his outfit as well and i do love the small detail on the stand that says x and it has two little scratches on it so um that's something to look forward to it's not something i definitely would want to get but nevertheless uh this is going to come out for 45 dollars Diamond Select Toys, they never disappoint. Booth 2607, they will pretty much have this exclusive if you want to get it, you know. The, um, it says they'll have no fewer than three exclusive variant statues available at this year's show. But they're just more impressed with this version of Wolverine. So that's something to keep your eyes out on if um, you have friends going to the con or if you're going to the con itself. Now let's move on to the next item here limited edition solo print by russell walks again this is print it's not the original i love star wars but they are just milking the shit out of this franchise and i'm actually getting a little bit tired of it because i love the millennium falcon don't get me wrong i love everything star wars related but at this point it's like you know you know it's just they're taking it too far you've never heard of the millennium falcon well, now it's a little bit cheesy at this point. I do not like that solo Star Wars bullshit on it. If not, I would have been like, you know what? I definitely would like to get this for my wall. But, and even that little quote right there, you've never heard of the Millennium Falcon. Are they teasing at the Millennials <laughs> or something like that? That would be kind of fucked up because Star Wars is, is great. But not something I would like to get. This is going to cost you $35 for a fucking print. Uh, where to buy think geek booth 3349 think geek as you know has bought game uh, GameStop so um, it's something that you can probably get not on the con only you probably will be able to get it here in, in New York as well or any other GameStop or think geek store so uh, nothing else further on it as far as details so I'm just gonna go ahead and move along because it's not it's not my cup of tea either now the next item is a Hot Wheels DC Superman action comics number one now this right here is something i definitely want to get it is hot wheels and it is pretty much a homage to the first comic um it's been 80 years i can't i can't believe that you know it, it's it's just crazy and we have superman with the little old school car and we have the background on here um the first comic book pretty much this is this is the cover of it they used to cost 10 cents at one point you know comic books now cost around three or something or even less um especially with everything going digital it's probably not that much but it just depends on what type of comic you want but back in the day these were the comic books that people would um would get and whatnot and i like that they have relived this moment and made it into a little homage um not that much of a crazy detail the car looks amazing very old school from those back in the day cars uh superman is not that detailed as well but nevertheless he still ha you know, has his iconic old school like the og og superman outfit on there and um i would definitely want to get this right here nice little packaging very compact very small this will go on for about twenty dollars and mattel will be selling this at booth 2945 so very iconic you know from the first comic book um uh, for this and um yeah i would definitely recommend this this will definitely be added to the top of my list but let's go ahead and move on to the next item star wars the vintage collection dr afra comic set now this right here um it's it's pretty awesome uh, it's something that you may want to get if you are a Star Wars fan like myself. It is not on top of my list. It is Dr. Afra BT1, BT, and Triple O, Triple Zero. Um, they look amazing. I love the detail on it, not that complicated. The joints on the figurines look nice. So these are toys at this point, but they are collectibles nevertheless. Uh, the painting on it looks great. 
the molds look amazing as well there's not that much functionality on bt from what i am looking at but uh triple zero does have some functionality as far as his joints and head wise i don't think they're able to move their heads but the detail on it, the belts the shoes um on the robots both the mechanical parts they look you know not that rustic and um they don't look that functional but it just looks amazing it looks amazing it's a nice little package as well very old school very retro uh, but not something I would get this is going to come out for $50 and like I said uh, Hasbro is going to be selling these at booth 3329 so it may be something that you may want to get they don't look that big and for 50 bucks uh, I don't think I might want to get that so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, item now this right here Rick and Morty pickle Rick gift jar set now Rick and Morty is an amazing series it may be something that you may want to get um, if it hasn't sold out already by the time you get to the con or if your friends could get your hands on get their hands on this they may be wanting to get one for themselves and they won't be able to get one for you so I mean who can blame them these, these just looks it looks like plush toys at this point I think that's what they are uh, they might not be plush toys never mind they all look like silicon yeah silicon and uh the detail on it looks amazing uh it might not be is it 3d printed it looks like it but the packaging looks great collectors key or oh, key rings okay never mind my bad it has a nice little jar uh, like a mason jar nothing out of the ordinary the packaging looks pretty simple but the dolls or the key rings themselves look amazing it's something that would definitely draw an eye when you're out going on the street or opening you know um your door um, something a lot of fans can appreciate or carry with them wherever they go and show off their fandom and whatnot. It's going to come out for $35 and you can buy it from Monogram International Booth 3645. Um, very nice. This fall pickle jar includes four key keychain figurines, Pickle Rick, Rat Suit Rick, Morty, and Jaguar. And an exclusive flick the Pickle Morty button. That's very nice. Very nice. But let's go ahead and move on to the next item marvel legends the defender rail authority five pack oh this right here is on top of my list a must get i live in new york and these are my heroes so um i'm from harlem so luke cage is up there luke kage like i like to call him um he's up there he's pretty much in this iconic subway trail cart and pretty much everybody else is on here as well uh, this is going to come out for 124 dollars with 99 cents and hasbro is pretty much the one responsible for this booth number 3329 so now um these heroes have been on netflix for a while now and as you can see we have uh jessica jones we have um iron fist luke cage we also have daredevil and i forgot who the other little bitch right there is um i think that's the one that helps out um iron fist but let's see, Netflix fans will want to scope out this lavish box set. So it is a box set featuring the street level heroes of MCU. Why they have to call them street level? Anyways, this set includes an exclusive Colin Wang figure. While most of the other figures feature new accessories or paint schemes to differentiate them from the standard releases. But the best part is the detailed subway car packaging. So as you can see, um, we have the regular so it's not even the mta in the background right there the map this is pretty much there's something else on there but it's pretty much a representation of the map for uh, new york uh, which says it has manhattan brooklyn and queens on there if i'm not mistaken but uh the car seats from back in the day i believe because most of them don't look like that today unless they have been repainted or the more fruity cars um the do not lean on the door <laughs> and then we have obviously um from Iron Fist Company right here in the background his his little poster on there so it looks it looks really nice the packaging looks amazing um, this is probably going to run um, like I said 124 and Hasbro is going to be selling these so something to look forward to a must get in my opinion but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item we have Bumblebee Volume 1 Retro Rock Garage Figures. This is probably from the new movie, I believe. If not, the old school, old school OG Bumblebee. And it has, I think, the other two um, pretty much buddies with him and whatnot. The other two Autobots with him. Uh, but the detail on it looks amazing. Um, we pretty much see, this is a nice car, I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of his first models of C28. 
um, and then we have the other two Autobots. I believe these has to be Autobots the MC60 <laughs> and the other one right here, um, the the Beepot Brothers or whatever or whatnot. But I like the detail on it. It doesn't look that functional. Like the parts look great. I have to. I would have to see how it turns in from that into this. But um, I like the color scheme. But I wish the the silver one was a little bit more chromish. It's not as shiny as it could be. But then again, I guess they're going for that retro look. And the face. The face could have been a little bit more detailed. I don't like his mouth and the nose. But other than that, it looks great. This right here will probably be running you for about $60. Hasbro is also responsible for this. Booth number 3329. Shit, Hasbro's pretty much having their hands at most of these toys. Can't blame them. But anyways, it says the other two bots are cassette tape bots, Daryu and Uruas. So you get three for the price of 60. Um, we'll have to see how big they are. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Now this right here looks awesome. If you're an old school head like me as well, you may want to get these. These are seven inch scale figures. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie. Um, these you can actually already get right off the bat and you can pre-order them from the site. This is pretty much going to be from NECA. It is 125 to 250. If you're going to get all four of them if I'm not mistaken. NECA always has done great things. They have had their hands and aliens franchise and, and they have done homages to other type of great franchises but this right here just looks amazing the detail on it they have their freckles they have their you know like they're ready for for war the only one that looks not serious is over here this motherfucker right here he's just happy as fuck the pizza they all love pizza but he's the one the main one that just gobbles up everything um their yeah their weapons look on point I don't know if the background comes included with that, if they have a whole bunch of other little items with it. But the detail, the joints, everything looks amazing. And these are how the OG Turtles should have looked like, especially in the new remake movie. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking about. I think it was Michael Bay who redirected that movie. But anyways, it's neither here or there. But these are a great set. If you are a collector, they're going to run you for about $250 for the whole set, more than likely. And it is from the 1990 movie. So if you've never seen that movie, go ahead and watch it rented or something and there are one to four scare releases so those fans with extra money to burn can splurge on two on the 200 yeah 250 is the set so yeah which includes a detailed diorama backdrop so yeah it does come with that so something to look forward to if you are a huge tmnt fan anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item this is something i definitely would want to get alien hammerhead tribute xenomorph reaction figure so um the detail on this looks amazing um as well as going to have the comic-con sticker slapped on it i like that it has that retro look on it the joints do not look as functional as i thought it would be but again a lot of retro toys were um you know made like this i just love the fact of the skull being like this that you can see uh in detailed uh how they look underneath that and there is a xenomorph that looks just like that um this might have been one of the og ones so um and it does have a collector coin on there something that i would want to get um this is going to be costing you 15 dollars um super seven as always they do a great job when they you know purchase partnerships with these franchises and they're going to be in booth 49 45 something very nice to look forward to and get if you are uh you know an alien fan let's go ahead and move to the next item the gifted the gifted mutant vision poster now um this was a series that came out on fox uh, this looks like a print at this point not something i would want to get my hands on i'm not going to go too much into detail to it it's probably a great series don't get me wrong but with all this bullshit dead in the center um it looks like a great poster but with, like i said with all of that bullshit with the uh, snapchat crap and all the other crap on it i i, I it just wouldn't look nice on my wall it says the price is free where to buy or get fox booth 42.29 it's just a regular poster i i wouldn't get my hands on this it looks nice even if it is free but it will get damaged by the time i bring it back home if i were to go to the con uh, it says you can't be for free especially when the most things at comic con are designed to drain your bank account but yeah, you know, if they're going to give it for free you know they're promoting their the next series you know why not but not my cup of tea let's go ahead and move on to the next item batman number 50 michael turner variant edition now this looks 
amazing right here it's probably um you know dealing with all the three main of uh, uh, female villains of the the comic book series and it is pretty much a different variant of the comic book as we can see the color scheme looks amazing how uh, we have harley poison ivy and you know um catwoman on here and i i just love it it looks very great uh it, it has the signature of michael turner on there and like i said the, the drawings must be amazing at this point so it won't be a disappointment it's something that you would want to get if you are a huge batman uh fan this is going to cost you around 15 dollars um aspen comics is going to be selling these at booth 2320 so if you have friends that could get you a copy of this why not um he he was pretty famous i'm not going to lie uh, some of the stuff that he has released is going to be going up in the next five years so if you can get your hands on this i'm not sure if it's original original print or if it's one of the original comics but either way when it comes to stuff for um artists like of this caliber you can't go wrong for 15 dollars. like i said this comic book is a must-have and i would definitely would want to get my hands on this so um definitely keep an eye out for that if you want to get a copy of this if you go to the con now moving on to the next item again i'm a huge batman fan especially with the variants and this is 112 batman beyond figure batman beyond was one of my favorites of, as well when it came out on the wb11 i used to wake up early on saturday mornings to pretty much watch this show and i just love this batman especially when they had the crossovers and you know we had the old batman you know teaching him being his mentor tutoring him this was a great fucking show and this right here this figurine just looks amazing um let's look at the detail really quick look at that look at the mesh on his body look at the the bat symbol on him his mask oh it just looks amazing his weapons his batarangs and his belt his utility belt could have been a little bit better but i can't complain it's just the mesh looks amazing um it just looks very chromish like his boots his shoes the detail on here is amazing i can't i can't lie he looks a bit shiny too so uh his center piece as well uh, it just looks amazing a must have in my opinion this is going to run you for about 85 bucks uh, masco is going to be the retailer booth number 3445 and it is a hot toy i'm not going to lie so if you want to get your hands on this and get it really quick because it, it already sold out online um i should have known better and i wish i could have gotten my hands on it but i was busy with work and got caught up with other bullshit so i couldn't have known uh next time i would have to keep up with what is going on and see if i can get my hands on these before they actually go uh on sale at the comic con um so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item game of thrones doth rocky map marker uh I won't click on this one because there is isn't much of detail to look at it other than the grain on the wood if it is made out of wood but uh, it looks it looks nice it's just a regular horse from game of thrones i do not know much of it i've only watched it up to season two because it got a little bit boring around season two but i heard it picked up really quick after that and it has become a pop culture icon um to what has been going on out there and i love dragons this deals a lot with dragons the show it's just an amazing show overall i'm not gonna lie season one was great but um i stopped watching after a while because of other responsibilities this nice little piece will cost you around 30 dollars, and it will be sold by dark horse comics which i am surprised dark horse is pretty good um but either way they're going to be at booth 2615 and pretty much you will be able to get your hands on this as a mark marker uh if you are into that stuff but anyways let's move on to the next piece this right here i definitely want to get i am a huge fan of mystery science theater 3000 this is mst 3k bots go to the con lithograph i did end up getting some enamel pins last year at new york comic con and i'm glad they're actually expanding into other cons as well um they did have some pop figurines that came out earlier last year they were limited um they're no longer sold anywhere i was able to get my hands on at least one of them which was the crow pop and um they are not sold anywhere they're going for a bunch of money but if you don't know what mst 3k is they're pretty much three robots with this one guy i believe his name was steve he goes and he gets launched into space as an experiment and they watch old school movies and they pretty much do voiceovers and narrate over them like the wolfman and these like really like really bad directed movies and they make them funny just by having their dialect over them 
and these three robots have a very nice personality there's a uh, servo bot crow and um tom zervo um they're just amazing i would recommend you catch the new show they do have it on netflix it's not like the old school one but nevertheless it is the same concept same robots just a new steve and um i believe you guys would enjoy it um it's definitely something i want to get it is going to be in the form of a print or a t-shirt it is going to cost you 25 dollars, and it is going to be sold by shout factory booth number 4118 so definitely something that you would want to get your hands on uh, it, it is a great memento like they have it right here it's no better way to describe it i mean the detail on this is amazing 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 so definitely would want to get my hands on this i will ask my friends to see if they are able to get me the t-shirt a t-shirt uh version of this because i would want to wear one of these let's go ahead and move on to the next item this one is aliens dead orbit number one convention exclusive now um this i don't know what it entails uh we do see the xenomorph right there that looks like a different one i don't know which one i, don't, I forgot which version this um xenomorph is um but um it is going to be running for five dollars dark horse comics is going to be selling this one at booth 2615 um it says that orbit stands out as one of the best looking aliens comics ever published and i was getting a snazzy new variant cover courtesy of american vampire artist Raphael albuquerque this is a very cost effective way of showing your love for the franchise at comic con so um it is a nice little variant for it I would like to see what else it has inside and as it's just only the copy of the front cover then you know it's something that you may want to have as a collector but uh not my cup of tea it looks great don't get me wrong but i would have something more like the figurines uh shown earlier and whatnot so we'll go ahead and move on to the next item this one is star wars yoda concept series mini bust <laughs> what the fuck is this um okay he if you guys remember the movie the dark crystal or the little guy from the labyrinth i forgot the name of the guy yoda looks just fucking busted here like he's been on meth i mean what the fuck i mean i don't know he'd never had hair like this from what i recall might have been a younger version of him he just looks fucked up he just looks fucked up up in here but the detail is amazing his hands i don't know why his body's in a fucking pot he looks like a leprechaun um it's fucking disney of course disney fucking had a license this bullshit but the detail on it looks great i'm not sure what the material is made out of it is a concept series so it's just a concept i'm not gonna hate on it but i do have to be honest because it's my opinion i personally do not like it um it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars the retailer is Gentle Giant, booth number 3513. So, uh, this is as with a piece that showcases just how much this 900 year old Jedi Master looked evolved from page to screen. So, it is a younger version, I guess, but I, I don't know what to think of this other than I do not like it. It looks great in detail, but the concept is not my cup of tea either. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I don't know. A lot of people are doing all these new things with Star Wars and. I'm not gonna get into that because that would be a whole nother video so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next item comics code authority patch um approved by the comics code authority price is ten dollars where to buy cbldf booth number 1918 and between buying elusive collectibles it's always good to save a little money for the comic book legal defense fund buying this patch is a win-win it gets you a neat piece of comic book inspired decoration if it helps and it helps finance the CBLDF's charitable efforts. Never heard of it. Don't know what the fuck they do. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next item. Now this right here is the piece of resistance. Um, I mean, what else can I say? The Dragon Star series say an evolution pack. This I told him, if you cannot get me anything else from the fucking con, get me this shit. This is the first thing on the list I told my friends. Um, I'm gonna try to find out if you can buy it online if not if I miss out on it I'm sure they will have something at New York Comic Con but this right here oh my god so as you can see we have all the evolution pack we have Super Saiyan um, a god right here we have Super Saiyan uh, 
Super Saiyan Blue and we have Goku in his regular form but each one they have the different uh, you know keys on them um, the one with Whis's signature is the middle one the other ones on the two are pretty much you know the, the with the other um, signatures on there uh, in the uniforms and it has the, the joints look amazing so you are going to be able to move them um, I like the design it has captured the essence the only one that looks a little bit weird is super saiyan god but i don't know if his neck is a little bit too long but then again i like the the packaging of it it just looks amazing black and white it has the dragon ball super stamp on it and it says dragon star series definitely something you would want to get if you're a huge 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 dragon ball fan it's going to cost you 80 bucks there are six to five inch figures features in three different incarnations of the mighty hero from the dragon ball super aka kakroto also known as goku so yeah i mean it's not gonna go out of style anytime soon so it's something you definitely would want to get your hands on as a dragon ball fan um but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next item origin superman lithograph by alex alex ross who doesn't know alex ross he does a great fucking job his color schemes are amazing his details are amazing and I, I love what he has done here, especially depicting the story of Superman and how he got to Earth and pretty much what he was able to do when he was at the Kent farm and when he went to, you know, to um, Metropolis. And it, it just looks amazing. You know, it's going to cost you $50 as a lithograph. It's going to be sold by Alex Ross Art Booth 2415. Why not? Fucking, if I was Alex Ross Art, I would have sold this for fucking $100 depending on how big this shit was. So it's definitely something you may want to get your hands on so you can, you know, have it um, in your house. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. This one is Star Wars The Black Series Centerpiece Ray and Kylo Ren figures. Now, Kylo Ren looks like he's fucking constipated up in this bitch. Um, but Ray looks amazing on here. Why does he look like... Like, hmm? Um, the detail on the lightsabers looks great. Um... They just look like like popsicles but on them the detail is pretty great i like the setting of it when they were fighting near the lava um, and it was pretty snowy out there so the background does it does it justice um i like the clothes the way it looks uh the details on their skin and everything else looks pretty great pretty smooth pretty straightforward nothing too amazing but the detail like i said on, on the stand itself looks great so you may want to get your hands on this if you're a Star Wars fan. This movie was actually pretty great and this movie moment was epic. So that's when she actually was able to manipulate part of the force when Finn got hurt and she pretty much took on Kylo Ren. So this little baby is going to cost you $119.99. Hasbro again, booth 3329 will be selling this centerpiece and it pretty much looks amazing. Again, I won't be getting it, but it may be something you would want to look into if you are a star wars fan let's go ahead and move to the next piece timeless legends magic the gathering set so this right here is going to cost you 99 again by hasbro booth 3329 shit hasbro doing your shit baby boy um the magic the gathering series is returning to the land of dominaria for its latest expansion and hasbro is celebrating with this pricey but enticing collector set the set includes five exclusive planeswalkers cards featuring new art from teresi Nielsen. Now, I used to love playing this game when I was younger. I used to have a whole bunch of cards. Um, they got they got misplaced somewhere. I forgot where. I forgot what I did with these cards, but I believe they must have more cards in them. But there's one, two, three, four, five. I think they should have more cards in them. But if it's just a hundred for five cards, that means twenty five per card. They have to be some like if you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Not comparing the both, but. If you played Yu-Gi-Oh, that must be like some obelisk or some like with Exodia. If you had all five pieces, hundred dollars for five cards. I mean, they they better be fucking gold gilded around the edges or some shit. But I love Magic the Gathering, but for a hundred bucks, I mean, I would I'm gonna hold judgment and see if those sets have more cards behind them. But for a hundred bucks, I mean, if you're a huge fan, if you you're not gonna take them out. These are going to go for a nice penny like five ten years from now so it's something to look forward to and if you want to keep them keep them uh the packaging looks great slick as well straight to the point the design is on point as well very aesthetically pleasing but for five cards come on come on come on you're just picking on us right now let's go ahead and move on to the next item now this right here um 
so for for DC, like I said, I'm a huge Batman fan. As far as Marvel goes, Captain America is my favorite fucking hero. Um, he's from Brooklyn, you know. He's in New York, and he, he he's just the essence of of hero at his best. Um, it says Hot Toys Captain America six scale figure concept art version. Um, from the 2018 Toy Fair ex- exclusive, and they're actually going to have it uh, now for Comic Con, and um, you know it's very fucking detailed. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and see it in more detail right here. He looks just like him. Look at look at the the the, f- the pores on this figurine. The eyes look amazing. Like the skin, the ears, the detail on his back. I mean. You can't go wrong the shield just looks weathered it has the original shield the other shield the stand just looks great right here you can change his hands the stand looks amazing uh i mean it has the avengers also um signature on it and he has he has his actual scale uniform on something i definitely would recommend on top of my list um this baby is going to go for uh 251 shit uh, where to buy uh, we don't know yet where he is going to be announced but I'm sure once we get closer to the date San Diego comic-con will announce on its site where um, you could get this bad boy um, which looks amazing and it's from Marvel Studios as well so we'll definitely see what happens in the next uh, week or so and yeah that's pretty much it I mean uh, those are the the items that we pretty much uh, well that most people collectors collectors would want to get their hands on but for me it's pretty much going to be this captain america the dragon ball z the alien one and he-man um other than that if i can get my hands on any other ones i am going to ask my friends who are going to the con to see if they can get me one. Oh yeah and also the mystery science theater 3000 shirt but um it's it's there's gonna be way more items than these um they're also going to have exclusive funko pops like i mentioned before aside from the two that we saw here because funko always does this lottery thing and they have exclusive each year so it's just so much going on you probably will need at least a good two to three g's if you are a huge collector when you go to these cons if you want to get everything but if you're like me i'm willing to invest only a g when it comes to the collect uh collectibles uh, because i only want to get certain things that i want and i just don't want to exhaust all my bank and things that i'm not even going to have room to place in my room so anyways uh that's pretty much everything for uh this review of the items in in that are going to be sought by at the con and We'll leave it here with this He-Man picture right here. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Which ones are you going to get? Which ones are you looking forward to? Um, and again, you can find this info at the IGN website. Just pull it up on Google and put IGN uh, collectibles for San Diego Comic-Con 2018. If you want to look more at it in detail. If not, I'm going to put a link in the con- uh, in the description box. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on this. Did you like any of these figurines? Which ones do you wish to get your hands on? And are you looking forward to New Year Comic-Con? which other items do you think are going to come to our con if you're from new york um and what do you expect to see there at that con uh don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos guys and you know let me know your thoughts on 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 this and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next review um episode this is kakaroto aka coco signing off and i'll see you guys soon peace